This is what we're making today. A bouillant breeze. First thing we're going to do is cut up all our veg. We're going to start off by cutting our mirepoix, which is two parts onions, one part carrots, and one part celery. If you guys don't know what a mirepoix is, Google it. Google has all the answers of the world. But in all seriousness though, what a mirepoix does is give your soups, stocks, and sauces a settled background taste. And once we've cut up our mirepoix, we're simply going to dice up a bubble of garlic. Now, in the pot with oil, we're going to throw in our two parts of onions, our one part of carrots, and our one part of celery. We're going to saute this for about 5 minutes. Once it's released some of its liquid and developed a little bit of color, we're going to throw in our garlic, 1 teaspoon of majoram, 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and 2 bay leaves. We're going to give this another stir and saute it for another 5 minutes. Once everything's developed in color, we're going to throw in 500 milliliters of canned crushed tomatoes. We're going to saute this off for 5 minutes and then add in 2 liters of water. If you'd like, you could also use fresh tomatoes instead of canned tomatoes. Honestly though, the flavor won't change that much because we are stewing this for a very long time. Next, we're going to make a quick sachet to flavor our soup. This is one sprig of rosemary, one sprig of oregano, and one sprig of sage. We're going to throw it in our soup and let this simmer for one hour. This is a pile of baby potatoes. We're going to peel this with a knife to give it that rustic look like it does in the animated picture. It should look like this, not a perfect sphere, but a rustic peeled potato. We're going to set the potatoes aside and submerge it in cold water to prevent it from oxidizing. Next, we're going to cut up this carrot. We're simply going to cut it into 1.5 inch thick pieces and then peel it again with a knife. Just like the potatoes, we're trying to give the carrot a rustic look. When running around the world of Teyvat, you're not going to have a peeler, you're going to carry a knife. I don't even know if peelers exist in that world. But then again, Venti does look like the type that would carry a peeler, if you know what I mean. Next, we're going to mandolin this onion to quarter inch pieces and then cut it up for our garnish. Now back to our soup. We're going to strain the soup into a new pot. Just like in the picture, we're going to create a light and clear tomato soup. If you guys are wondering why I'm making a tomato soup, it's because this dish is based off ratatouille, which has a tomato based sauce. Once we've strained our soup, we're going to throw in our carrots and potatoes and then simmer it for about 15 minutes. At this point, we're going to season our soup as well since we haven't done any seasoning throughout the process. And after 10 minutes, a bunch of gunk will float to the top from the potatoes and carrots. We're simply going to strain that to keep our soup clear. And just before our potatoes and carrots are completely cooked through, we're going to strain it and let it finish cooking in the bowl. For me, I hate the texture of an overly cooked potato and carrot in a soup. After straining the potatoes and carrots, now it's time to plate.
First, I'm going to remove this flower that I stole from another person's garden. Hopefully he's not watching. And then second, this was the stupidest thing to plate in the world. Did you guys know this took 23 minutes for me to plate? And now the soup's not even warm anymore. It's cold. In terms of taste, I mean the soup still tastes pretty good. It tastes like a minestrone. But the reality is, this is just boiled potatoes and carrots with raw onions and peas in a tomato soup. There is nothing special about this. Venti, your specialty sucks. And I mean that with all my heart. I've never been so frustrated at plating a dish in all my life. This dish just needs something else, you know? I mean, it's just potatoes and carrots in a tomato soup. I hope you guys really enjoyed that episode, even though I really didn't enjoy the food. And just know guys, I turned the rest of the soup into a minestrone, so I didn't waste anything at all. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button, and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. And guys, please check out my Patreon page. Any and all donations would really help me in producing more content for you guys.